Today I'm going to be making sopita de codito with taquitos de queso. This is one of my favorite childhood dishes. It brings back really good memories. Um, if you guys want to know how to make it, keep watching. These are the ingredients. We're going to need one bag of sopa de coditos, three Roma tomatoes, a small piece of white onion, one garlic clove, chicken bouillon, tomato bouillon, oregano, queso panela, and some corn tortillas. I'm setting up my pan on medium heat and I'm going to add some oil. The oil is now hot, so I'm going to add the onion and the garlic clove. We're going to fry it just for a little bit. I'm going to add this to the blender. Don't get rid of the oil because that's what we're going to be frying the macaroni in. La sopita de codito. So now we're preparing the sauce for the sopita. I already cut my tomatoes in fours, so we're just going to add it in the blender with the onion and the garlic. Add the chicken bouillon and the tomato bouillon, and then the oregano. I'm going to add a cup of water, and now we're going to blend it. In that same oil, now we're going to fry the sopa de codito. We're gonna stir it until it's golden brown. Next, we're gonna add our salsa. We're gonna stir it for a little bit and wait about two minutes before we add the water. I'm gonna be adding the water. And remember that water is to your choice or your liking if you want more broth or less broth. Stir it occasionally so that the soup doesn't stick to the pan. Now we're gonna cover it for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm gonna slice the cheese and get it ready for the taquitos. I put my tortillas in the microwave for about a minute just so they can get soft and when I roll the taquitos, they don't break. And then we're just gonna add the cheese and roll them up. And we'll do the same for each tortilla. It's been about 15 minutes and our soup is now ready. Keep in mind that the amount of water that you're gonna add, it depends on what amount of broth you want. For me, this is perfect. Now that the soup is ready, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese and cover it and let it cook with the heat off. We're gonna fry our taquitos in some oil and we're gonna be turning them until they are golden on both sides. The taquitos are ready and now I'm gonna put them in a plate with napkins so they absorb the rest of the oil. Okay, now it's time to serve myself a plate of sopita. Look at how delicious it looks. So delicious. I also like to add a little bit of cilantro. It's ready to enjoy. Okay, this is my favorite part, guys. Moment of truth. Mmm. The taquitos are great. Mira la sopita. Delicious. You guys definitely need to try it. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you make this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on my social medias. Any recipes that you guys want to try, let me know and I'll be sure to make it. I'll see you next time.